I'm going to be taking a look at the triple vector proof using the Levi Civita symbol. And the proof is defined as A cross B cross C, with these ones in parentheses, is the same thing as B times A times C minus C A dot B. And of course, these are all vectors. And the normal way of going about this would be to use um, vector subscripts and normal vector notation. And if we look at a proof online from ucl.ac.uk, um, it starts it out by defining that like A cross B equals A Y B Z minus A C B Y times I plus. And then we have the second component, the A Z B X minus A X B Z J plus A X B Y minus A Y B X. Yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, and then this one definition, and then you have to go through each step and it would probably take me about 10 minutes to show it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, you can look online for that, but the much quicker way is to use the Levi Civita symbol, um, which is defined in chapter 10 of Boaz. Um, and just a quick reminder we have epsilon ijk equal to 0 when i equals j, j equals k and k equals i, and then it's equal to 1 for even permutations and negative 1 for odd permutations of the subscripts. Um, one other important definition is the meaning of the Kronecker delta symbol, which is this is equal to 1 when i equals i equals j, and 0 if i does not equal to j. Um, and then the one relevant identity that we're going to use in this proof is that when you have epsilon i, j, k, it's a little messy, i, j, k, times another one with these subscripts, i, m, n, this is the same thing as um, delta j, m times delta k n minus delta j j n delta k m. Okay, hard to fit that down there. But the, this is what's going to be needed for the proof. Um, and just one more time what the proof will be is that we're trying to get a cross the cross product of B cross C to equal B A dot C minus C A dot B. And we'll start out by writing this left hand side down here as A cross B cross C, and we're doing these brackets so we can have this subscript I. And then we'll write this equal to um, epsilon i j k, and we'll bring out that a with the subscript j, and then we'll have another with the subscript k l m b sub l c m. It's slanting a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and this is equal to epsilon i j k epsilon k k's are a little difficult to write k l m times a j b l c sub m so what we did here was we took this epsilon delta and we're able to just move this around at wherever we want so we just took it and we put it out here and got rid of the parentheses there 
and that this is the same thing as epsilon k i j epsilon k l m a j b l b l c m so here we are rearranging the subscripts um, here and here um, and then just changing the order of it um, and then this is the same thing as the identity over here uh, this one here so this was why we changed the subscript was to get it into this form so we can rewrite this as using the Kronecker Delta symbol of I L uh, J M minus Delta I M Delta J L times A J B L C M and then once again we can rewrite this now getting rid of the Kronecker Delta symbols back into um, the A's B's and C's it's the same thing as B I A J C J minus C I A J B J. This is a J here. Now running out of space, we'll go up here. This is equal to B I. And now because these A's and C's and then this A and B have the same subscript, we can write it as a dot product. A dot C with um, plus or minus C I and then the dot product of A dot B and now this vector or this answer is the same as the left side over here this is, this is a C up here um, so this whole right side and this part are the same. This one just still has the sub i's, but you can get rid of that uh, to make it exactly the same way. And then this proof was found in Professor Smallwood's notes from chapter five, I believe. Um, the definition of the levi civita symbol, Kronecker Delta came from chapter 10 of Boaz. And then uh, for reference, looking at the triple vector proof with normal methods was from ucl.ac.uk. Um, and then, yep. Uh, that's about it.